this audio spectrum tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create the analog lines and the bass zoom. First of all, you want to get yourself a new composition, just like always. Set it to 1920 by 1080, have it unlocked, keep it on square pixels, put the frame rate on 30 or 60, depending on your preference, have it on quarter, and then change the duration to how long your music is. Pick any color for the background, and then go ahead and press OK. You want to open up the folder with the image and the music. You can follow along to this tutorial, there'll be a link in the description, or you can get yourself your own picture, and that's great. So you just pretty much want to left click and then select them both and then drag them into After Effects. Once you've done that, left click off of it, drag the audio layer underneath the picture, open up the audio, set it to minus 15, minimize it, select the picture, press S for scale, and set this one to 40%. You can minimize this one as well. You want to right click in the empty area, get yourself a new solid, and then you pretty much want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Once again, and pick any color you want, press okay. Then you want to go into the effects and presets. If you don't have this open, you can go to a window and it will be right in here, effects and presets. You want to type in audio, and then you will see something called audio spectrum. Left click and drag this to your new solid. In here, we need to first of all link it to the music. To do that, you go to the audio layer and where it says number one, set this one to number three, where the music is. Next up, we need to configure the settings. So to do that, we're gonna start off with the start point and this is going to be minus 124. Set it to a thousand for the second one. Have it on 1920, then put it to a thousand. Scroll further down. Start frequency is going to be on 10. The end frequency is going to be on 80. Number of bands is going to be 800. Maximum height is going to be 700. Leave the audio duration on 90. Put the thickness to 10. The softness to zero. And then change the inner color to a white. Change the outer color to a white as well press OK and then finally scroll down to the bottom and then change the display to analog lines and then side A only. Now that you've got yourself the audio spectrum, the next thing to do is right click on your music and then go to keyframe assistant, convert to audio keyframes. Once this is done analyzing, you can then move this one above your music. You want to open it up, open up the effects, left click on the left channel hold shift and then left click on the right channel and then press delete. We only need both channels. Open this one up and then you can get yourself a new adjustment layer. If you right click in the empty area, go to new adjustment layer and then move this one above your actual picture. Otherwise it won't really make much of a difference. Everything underneath it will apply. Now that you've got yourself the new adjustment, go back into the effects and presets and type in wiggle. You want to get yourself a wiggle rotation and drag this one to your picture. Once you've done that, set the speed to 0.2 and then the amount to 5. You also want to get yourself a wiggle scale. Drag this one in your adjustment layer. You can then minimize this one or close it down. Also type in brightness and get yourself a brightness and contrast and drag it to your adjustment layer. We can then scroll back to the top, set the seconds to zero, untick the button that will say wiggle width separately. Otherwise it will look like a jelly trying to bounce. So you pretty much want to set this one to 5%. 
Now that you've done that, you can then hold Alt or Option key, left click on the stopwatch. This will open up a expression. In here, you want to type in 30 plus, get yourself the squiggly looking line, the pick whip, drag it down to the slider. And then at the end of it, type in times three. A left click off of this. You also want to scroll down to the bottom to the brightness, do the same as last time, hold Alt or Option key, click on the stopwatch. And for the brightness, you want to type in zero plus. Once again, drag the pick whip down to the slider. And then at the end of it, type in times five. You can then left click off of this and you are pretty much done. So if you preview this, you can have a look and see what it looks like. And as you can see, the analog lines move, it zooms in and the brightness bounces to the music as well. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. I have other audio spectrum tutorials as well if you want to check them out. Leave a comment down what you thought of this video. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.